No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to make side-by-side -side videos like this in Share Factory on the PS4. If you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make awesome gaming videos using Share Factory, plus learn how to do more on YouTube and other PS4 related stuff, then this is the channel for you, so please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Okay, so why would you want to have side-by-side -side videos? Well, it's down to your imagination, really, and how, what you want to achieve in your videos. You might want to have a couple of your favourite um, kills or gameplays playing alongside each other, or you might want to have the same clip playing at the same time, like a dance, or you could make a basic end screen for your YouTube video, or you could even this. have an animation like on my how to add and subscribe animation to uh, the recent video that I did. So, lots of different options. As always, we start in a new project on share factory and what we can do is just choose whichever theme we want to and get rid of the all of the ticks apart from one uh, I would normally say add uh, a name obviously um, so you know where you're at but we're not going to worry about it on this example and then we just get into the video and we just choose a basic gameplay to show you how to do this so it's not going to be overly pretty it's just going to show you a real quick clip on how to add a side-by-side uh, -side screen so we're just using this one when I just run in in share for, in Fortnite and what you need to do is just push the cross button and go to add track 2 so then you just press add clip and you can just choose any other gameplay you want I'm just choosing this which is actually the same I'm just starting at six seconds further on so it looks like two separate clips but you could start them at the same time and then what you want to do is just push the square button and then we can go to pip layout and then this is where we change the um, uh, side by side so we just go to side by side and that will put the original video and the newly selected video side by side so then they will they will just play wherever you've put them so we started this six seconds further forwards and then you can go into pip settings and then this is where you can put a shadow on the boxes around the videos and display the frame um, and you can choose whichever color you want i personally like it to be black but you can change it to whatever you want and once you've done that you can push cross to confirm and then you can go to you could go to filter if you wanted to and play about with that so lots of different options but we're going to keep it simple here we're just going to go back keep it at side by side and then we can just push the circle to go back and see what it looks like okay so the reason I put it from six seconds from the start of the video was so you could see the difference and where each screen goes so this is the original clip playing and if you look now the original clip continues in the right hand screen so be aware of that that your original clip is on the right your added clip is on the left okay so you'll see that it, we've got a background already on there so what we can do is go to edit track 2 and then you push the square and we pop across to pip backdrop and then we can go to replace backdrop you could delete it but we're just going to go replace backdrop and now you can choose whichever backdrop you want from screenshots okay so you've got different ones and you've got the moving one here that you could add in so lots of different options but it has to be a screenshot it could be a screenshot from gameplay or it could be just a standard background so you've got different options of what you could do if you wanted to you could create a separate um, backdrop or a separate screenshot and go into photo so you go to add project uh, sorry go into new project and then you can just go use whichever screenshot you wanted to add the text as you know or I'm sure you all know how to add text now thanks for watching and then you could just um, save that by going to options and you can then just push on export to gallery and then that will export it so that to your gallery so that you could then use that as a screenshot behind your side by side videos okay and you could use that as a base a very basic end screen for the last 20 seconds of your um, video if you wanted to and that will just give you different options again of how you can use the side-by-side -side screens or videos okay so we're back in our side-by-side -side video so we want to go into pip backdrop and replace backdrop and then we just need to find the photo or the screenshot that we've just been working on and we push the cross and uh, square to add it and then when this will just play it out and you'll just see that it's a basic 
end screen type thing saying thanks for watching you could also put please subscribe and all that sort of thing okay the other thing you need to be aware of is audio so we've got this clip here and we've got the same video playing but this is uh, the same whether you've got the same clip or different clips one uh, you're going to be playing both the audio so one of the clips you need to turn the volume all the way down for so that is something to bear in mind otherwise you've got two contrasting audios playing so it might not be ideal for the effect you want but it might also be ideal you might want that contrast so again play about with it get it how you want it okay the other thing you can do is you could play about with the pip setting so you could go to offset and that would just put it in two different positions there so they're not side by side equally but still you could play about with that and have a different setting like that you could also go into it go back into pip layout and you could have a swivel effect so not quite as effective when you've got it with um, two screens but another option and also you can okay, add stickers and, and text to each of the videos in the side by side effect but you just need to do that ideally before you start using the side by side effect so put the text and that in there beforehand okay shout out of the day goes to 497 goblin 497 please do check out the channel and do consider subscribing if you like their content thanks very much for your support okay so that's the end of the video thank you very much for watching if you haven't already subscribed please do so if you found this video useful please do like and thanks again for watching and bye